One of the things that causes so many problems in life, in relationships, in society, in the world at large, is our failure to understand one another. To understand why others think and behave as they do, especially when we find that behavior unpleasant, irrational, irritating, unsettling, uncomfortable, disturbing. I often hear people say, why do people act this way? Or, I just don't understand why people act that way. And then we tend to come up with explanations like, these people are just ignorant or brainwashed or bigoted or selfish or whatever it happens to be. And not that there isn't some truth in those statements at times, but it's really only scratching the surface. We're not really getting to the root of it. There were certainly times in my own life, especially when I was much younger, when I really did have a great deal of difficulty understanding why people behave as they do, why they think the way they do, why they believe the things that they believe and act in ways that might be generally unpleasant. I didn't really understand it, but I did have a lot of judgment in regard to it. But over the course of my life, I spent a lot of time in introspection, in self-reflection, getting to know myself more deeply, looking more deeply at my own thoughts and behaviors, including and oftentimes especially my undesirable qualities, which you might call negative traits and tendencies, looking into those things in order to better understand them. Why do I behave in this way or that? What's beneath my bitterness? What's behind my rudeness? Why do I get so irritated with some people? Why do I hold to some particular belief and reject another and all this sort of thing? And the more time that I've spent investigating all of this within myself and coming to understand it, the more I understand others, the more I understand why others behave in similar ways. And not only in regard to behaviors which might affect others negatively, but also things like why a person might feel frightened or upset, angry or sad, even in regard to something where I might respond very differently. But by understanding the basic mechanisms of my own mind, my own psyche, conscious and unconscious, I gain a greater understanding of others and a greater sense of empathy and compassion as well. Because deep down we're really not so different. Even if we're behaving very differently, we're all operating from basically the same underlying operating system. But because we all have different life experiences, living in different environments under different circumstances and so on, all of that affects how we respond to life, how we think and feel and behave. And there's a great deal of value in this kind of understanding, because if we can better understand one another, then that opens the door for deeper connection, for better communication, as well as the opportunity to better resolve misunderstandings, tensions, and conflicts, which are at the root of so many problems in the world.